Hello, this is Krishna Shinde over here. I would like to present my paper that is fake review detection abstract. In the enterprise marketing process, online data plays more important role as a type of a data. Fake review of the product have been seriously affecting the reliability of a board decision making and data analysis of the enterprise. To detect spam reviews, the paper presents a set of opinion spam detection identification indicators based on behavior features of the spammer. Our review identification algorithm achieves lower latency. More importantly, the proposed algorithm for recognizing honest reviews can be used to analyze the relevancy between the review content and the given review topic by using the word segmentation technique. The experimental results show that the number of fake reviews by our algorithm is higher than that of the traditional algorithm. Introduction In order to recognize spam review more accurately, the paper first summarizes the spammers some common behavior properties and then constructs a set of identification indicators of detecting spam reviews. In general, these spam have some common behavior. For example, if some customer copies the review of this another customer of the same product and then modifies the review or keep it as it is and present is on review. Another type of fake review is used to write the product some malicious review for the purpose of unfair commercial competition. There are two algorithms are designed to identify similar reviews and relevant reviews. Literature survey. Our first paper is online review spam detection using language model and feature selections. Methodology used is review spam detection, data mining, language model, feature selections. Pros and cons are it detects review spam using two different methods. First is spam query processing, second is untruthful spam detection. Second paper fake review detection from a product review using modified method of iterative computation. Methodology uses fake review detection, opinion mining, sentiment analysis, text mining, IC. Pros and cons, better accuracy compared with the result from iterative computation framework method. Some process need to be optimized so it can detect a fake review in short amount of time. Third paper. Learning to identify review spam. Methodology used is supervised method, semi supervised method, cons and cons are it uses machine learning method to achieve significant improvements in comparison to the heuristic baselines. Does not use textual features to predict spam users. Both paper is Detection of fake review and brand spam using data mining techniques. Methodology used are brand spam de detection, review spam detection, AR develops classifiers. It uses J4PA classifier, which generate AR double F from the distinct features for detecting the untruthful reviews. Fifth paper is deceptive review spam detection by exploiting tasks, readiness, and unlabeled data. Methodology used are multitasking learning by logistic regression, semi supervised multitasking learning via Laplacian regularized logistic regression, statistic alternating method. Cons and cons are it uses SML. Double L R to improve the review spam detection performance. It's unable to build robust classification model for detecting deceptive spam reviews. Sixth paper is hybrid optimization <coughs> algorithm of improved binary particle swarm optimization and cuckoo search for review spam detection. Methodology used are review spam detection. IBP, SO, Cuckoo Search, Navia Bias, and KWN. Cons and cons are IBP, SO, and CS is used for feature elections 
in the purpose in the proposed hybrid approach only 96.97 percent classification accuracy for review spam data set is achieved problem statement people tends to buy product online on numerous site products can be purchased on the basis of market demands and also on the reviews of the product people check whether the product is appropriate to use or not on the basis of reviews on a product there would be hundred of comments in which some of them would be fake to determine whether it's valid or not we are proposing a new technique to detect a fake review on product in which we can detect reviews and the product is trustworthy or not algorithms there are two algorithms used that is word segmentation and calculate similarity first is word segmentation word segmentation is the word segmentation is the problem of dividing a string of written communication into its components words in english and lots of other languages using some sort of roman alphabet space may be good approximation of a word divider second is calculate similarity calculate similarity is the cosine of the angle between two n dimensional vectors in n dimensional space Cosine similarity measures the similarity between two similar reviews of an product. It is measured by the cosine of the angle between two vectors and determines whether the two vectors are pointing in roughly an equivalent direction. Indicators There are seven types of indicators that is deviation rate, bias rate, review similarity rate, review relevance rate, Content length, illustration, and first. First is deviation rate. Deviation rate means reasonable review are consistent with the product quality and do not deviate from all reviews average. According to this feature, we can judge whether a review is fake or not. Second is bias rate. Multiple reviews of the same customer on a product may be not consistent. The customer first review of a product may be represents the product real experience and the second review often reflects the user's true experience of the product. However, if a customer has written three or more reviews for the same product, those reviews were likely to contain bias to the product. Third, a review similarity rate. To save time, some reviews often copy another, another customer reviews using them or their own reviews without or with a few slight modification. For this, review similarity rate is used. Fourth one is review relevance rate. The review sometimes has nothing to do with the product itself such as an advertisement or a link or a pre-prepared irrelevancy content. Fifth, content length. The review's length is also an important indicator to identify spam reviews. If the review content is too short, we think the review does not, does not consider the product experience seriously. Sixth one is illustration. Most of the e-commerce websites now provide a function of uploading the product's page features and the use. To save review time generally, the spam reviewers does not offer a picture of the product as the appendix of the review. Thus, we can use this feature to detect the spam reviews. Seventh is burst review. Burst review refer refers to the case in which a customer has written a high volume of review for different product within a 398 or a short time. Details of hardware and software. Hardware requirements are 4G RAM, 200 GB as double Hardix, Intel Core 13th generation, software user Windows 8 and 10, Visual Studio 2013, MS SQL Server 2012, Windows Operating System.
conclusion we conclude that the review are verified in a fake review detection we have studied different approaches and techniques in survey papers as a reference point for further work and study various detection technique decreases the risk of buying the defective product the survey mainly discusses the creation to the users with the less complexities fake review should be completely removed from the systems and security is given to the user customer from rim strongly influence therefore through this detection of fake review product can be accessed on the basis of accurate parameters due to which fair business can be carried out in the enterprises market thank you